Hey, I'm Dylan John, and if you have trash audio and you want it to sound more professional, like you're in a studio, this free tool is gonna blow you away. So let me show you how useful this is. Listen to this clip, and, and by the way, you don't have to have Final Cut Pro in order to use this tool that we're gonna go over, but just listen to this. I forgot my mic, or I didn't turn it on. I don't know what I did here, but it's messed up. While this isn't exactly a haze machine, it is a great budget-friendly and portable alternative. I have the air purifier going on in the background, I clearly don't have my mic on and it sounds like trash. And with the free tool we're going over, which is called Adobe Podcast. Once again, you don't need Adobe to use this. Let's listen to it now. And while this isn't exactly a haze machine, it is a great budget friendly and portable alternative. It's a night and day difference. Here is another example. So here's before. Perhaps horses just run around here like kangaroos in Australia, but here we have Obviously terrible, I'm right by a river, you can hear the campfire going on. I'm not even sure that I uh, had my mic on in this shot. And here's what this sounds like with Adobe Podcast. Perhaps horses just run around here like kangaroos in Australia, but here we have- Very impressive, and the fact that it's free is shocking to me. So using this is pretty simple. It's called Enhanced Speech by Adobe Podcast. And all you're gonna do is you gotta create an account. Unfortunately, if you already have an Adobe account, then you could just sign in with that, I believe. And so all you would do in whatever editing software you're using is just export out the audio of the clip that has audio problems. So for example, in Final Cut Pro, I just use R to bring up the range tool, make a selection, go to file, to share, to export file, go to settings, and then hop into audio only. And then from here, I would select a .wav file because I believe that is the highest quality for audio. And then you would just export that out. And so all you would do is choose that exported file wherever you put it. However, the worse the audio quality is initially, then obviously the worse uh, it's gonna be sounding once it goes through this. So in saying that, if you have, say you're doing a YouTube video and your mic is okay, just not that great. If you put it through this, it's gonna sound like you had a much better microphone and you had someone who knows what they're doing with audio kind of tweak it and fix it. But there are some caveats. There's a 30 minute max duration for that audio clip and you only have one hour per day. So essentially you just have an hour that you can use with the enhanced speech feature. So what I would recommend doing is just exporting out that bad problem audio that you have. Don't export out your entire timeline because there is a limit. And if you need it again, uh, you won't have it if you go over that hour daily limit. It seems they also have a premium plan. I'm not getting paid by Adobe, so I'm not really about to do an ad read, but it seems that you can also pay for a more time and stuff like that, but very useful free tool. It has helped me out on audio that I thought I would not be able to fix. If you think this will help you out, do me a huge solid and press that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.